Welcome to Closet Coaching. I wanted to share a story with you that happened uh, in a client session on Friday. So I have been working with somebody for, it's been over a year, just a bit over a year. Uh, and when she initially came to me, uh, we were working on getting out of the binge restrict cycle and body image. These are the two primary areas in which I work. So these were, what were this is what was very relevant for this person. And she is, she's done an incredible job and is no longer binging, um, eats relatively intuitively at this point and her body image has come so far. Um, along the course of this year though, working together, she got pregnant. So she's actually due to have the baby next month. And we were talking on Friday and um, we meet monthly at this point. And she said, all right, so I'm having the baby next month. And then the next month after that, I've got um, a wedding to go to. So she's like, so I just need some help. Um, like just what like rem reminders, like things to keep in mind as I go to that wedding. She goes, and I, I know that part of that is like, you know, like gravitating. Or she said, um, like sort of steering clear of the of the conversations with particular family members who seem to focus only on the way the body looks. So she, that has been something she's been working on over time is like recognizing where uh, what what people in her life emphasize the values that she no longer embodies and like working on filtering that. So she was naming this as a strategy, but then she corrected herself mid-sentence and she said, you know, I want to remember, a, you know, to, to sort of like shift my focus away from those people. And she she interrupted herself and said, and actually to focus on the people who make me feel really good about myself. And I, I didn't suggest that she did this on her own. And I was like, what a switch and what a powerful switch to, to move from defensive um, self-protection to like sort of proactive, like seeking of what is good, right? So there's a difference between the strategies we use that are defensive versus offensive. And at some point, we stop just protecting ourselves and we start actually seeking out what feels good. And so she named this by saying, like, not only am I going to recognize the interactions I have with people who make me feel less than, but I'm going to seek out and cultivate the conversations with the people who make me feel really good about who I am and who focus on the things about me that reflect what I want people to see in me um, rather than how I look, right? And I just, I, I was like, I'm going to make that a closet coaching because it, it's just noticing the places in your life where we can actually be empowered to, to, to meet life and to go after life, in, including the people, the situations, whatever it might be, that make us actually feel good about ourselves versus just the things that make us not feel bad about ourselves. These are two different things. Um, and I wanted to just name that and to just point that out. And there's, it's not like a one's better than the other because I think we need both strategies. Like we need to protect, but we also need to seek out. Um, but that seeking out is maybe a lesser talked about um, or a more, a more like later part of the process potentially, but that we can absolutely be seeking these things out instead of just protecting ourselves from what feels bad. Um, I think it's just as important. And thank you to my client who um, pointed that out. All right, bye.